Hi, Wycliffe Barrett here. This is x -Plane Dedicated. Uh, so what I thought I'd do this morning is, uh, I thought I'd do a cold and dark start of the Monarch A330 for you. I've done I've done that in the live stream and, you know, people have seen me live streaming that, but I thought I'd actually do a, a, a vlog on it. Um, so I suppose you, I hate using the phrase fully loaded because other YouTubers use things like that, fully loaded. So I'm just going to call it um, an instructional, yeah? So uh, we're doing a, an instructional on the Airbus A330 from Jar Design, and, and here you see me on the ground at uh, Cardiff Airport, as per usual. Um, it's a nice clear sunny day today here at Cardiff uh, as I pan around the uh, A330. Uh, you'll notice as I zoom in a little bit, we've got uh, aileron droop here because uh, everything's off, there's no systems on, there's no power to the aircraft or anything like that. And uh, cargo doors are open, etc, etc. Um, I've got to admit, uh, I've had troubles with the uh, Airbus in the past, but I love this aircraft. This is beautiful to fly. It really, really is very, very nice. And Jar Design have done an excellent job on this. I'm sure that uh, when an update comes out, as uh, I'm sure it must do, because uh, that's what Jar Design do, it will be made even better. Okay, well, let's get right into it, eh? so then we'll start this up. So, uh, first of all, we need to call the ground equipment, and uh, a lot of things are done from uh, the A330 menu here. So we'll just uh, call ground equipment, ground equipment call, and you'll see everything coming into place. There's the GP unit, GPU unit starting up, and uh, we've got fuel truck coming in, and Sky Chefs as well. Now, the, um, the Sky Chefs truck... Um, has been uh, created uh, by um, Emma Bentley. She, she did a repaint, so it actually comes with Sky Chefs as opposed to Gate Gourmet. Uh, Sky Chefs is at Cardiff as well as Gate Gourmet. Anyway, so you see the stairs extending up to the doors, and uh, you can also see the uh, catering truck there is. Uh, race itself. The doors are open automatically for the ladders and the same for the catering trucks. Okay, so uh, down here on the uh, left hand side you can see our fuel management system and uh, the, air, the fuel truck has connected its lines to the wing so we'll just put a bit of fuel in uh, so we'll just increase that up to 10 just for the purposes of this here and uh, you click the refuel button and it refuels fairly quickly as you can see. Okay, so that's refueled uh, fairly quickly, and we can come here back to the plugins A330, ground, ground equipment, and we can get rid of the fuel. Fuel and weight, remove fuel truck. So the pipes are disconnected, and the fuel truck will just move out of the way. Okay, so um, into the cockpit, and it's pretty cold and dark, although it does say we have got ground power available. Uh, now, I, I say this every time that what I'm going to do may not be procedurally correct, but it's the way that I learnt on the A320 uh, tutorial for the uh, Jar Design A320 tutorial. So uh, I'm just following that along. As far as I'm aware, there seems to be very little difference. So ground power is available, so let's turn that on. And uh, already you see some lights come on. Uh, landing gear. Yep. And. Uh, engine information screen so all that's come on in the MCP there's very little else there uh, come on um, we can uh, start the APU up so APU bleed on master APU and start and we'll just watch down here on the APU screen watch for the flap to open and pressures to come up etc flap open there we go EGT is up PSI and so uh, we could actually turn off the ground availability now if we wanted to but i'll leave it on just for a few moments um once again uh the wonderful thing about uh airbus if lights are on if lights are off then that's fine yeah uh so at the present time it's very little on okay fuel lights etc etc uh, let's just come down here and turn on the radios just to make sure everything's cool there and uh, we might as well turn on the weather radar system turn the gain up okay uh, make sure we're on VH1 yes we are we are we are marvelous uh, that's good right so next we need to do fire engine test that works 
APU, marvellous. Um, set the ADIRS, 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 and so forth. There we go. Turn the batteries on so they get a charge. And, oops. And just come down here to the FMC because this is the only way we can get the uh, IRS to the line up. So we just go to win it there. We we'll just, just put E G F F slash E G C C. Oops, let's clear that. E G F F slash E G G C C. Put that in. And then it says align IRS. Click on that. And it's going to take seven minutes for the IRS to align. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Everything's all right. Fine, fine, fine. And quite literally, there's very little else to do. But I'll, I'll just go through it. Okay. So, we'll turn on some lights. Emergency lights armed. You can turn the dome lights on if you wish. It's not smoking. Okay, um, that seems about right. Central control, so that turns on all the lights up here. Turn on the fuel. Yep, that's good, good, good. Turn, we don't really need the anti ice on because it's quite warm. Um, Leave those generator lights on. Come down here. Turn ignition start to the right. Engine start ignition to the right. And lift the lever. Starting engine two. And straight away. You can see we're in the auto startup sequence. I just watch everything here. The M3 coming up. That's around about 20% 20, 20 in M1 in EGT will come up. Oh, just a little bit higher, 24, 25%. There we go. 25% on the N3, and then everything else comes up. Okay. Let me. I'll open the volume mixer. And I'll turn up the volume in here so you can hear what's going on. Oops. Pardon me. Sound settings. Just turn that up. There you go, engines. You can hear that. If I go outside, you'll really hear them. Okay, go back to in it. And then, all you have to do is engine. Starting engine one. Starting engine one. And the same process here. M3 will come up to about 25%. As soon as it gets to 25%, M1 and EGT will come up to EGT. Ex exhaust gas temperature. There we go. Two good engine starts. Let's go outside. And that is it. <laughs> it is one of the easiest aircraft to start. Um, if we want to remove everything, A330, ground equipment, ground equipment remove, straight away. You'll see things, uh, stairs going down. And the uh, catering trucks. And then they'll all move out of the way, giving you plenty of room to push back. You can see the fuel trucks already moved back to here. Yeah. Uh, we do need to close the doors though. A330 doors. Close all doors. You'll see the cargo doors and passenger doors close okay should have done that the other way around actually should have closed moved the equipment close the doors and then start the engine but not to worry so there we have it cold and dark start in the Airbus A330 by Jar Design one of the easiest aircraft to start I, I could go for a flight now but I don't think I will <laughs> So thank you very much uh, for watching. I hope uh, that was uh, instructional. 
If I did it a little bit too fast, let me know and I'll go through it again and do it a lot slower. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.